Hey all, it's Jeanette Tech here. Today we'll be reviewing one very unique ThinkPad. Technically it's not produced by Lenovo, but it definitely deserves to be called one of the best ThinkPads ever conceived. We made this video because recently Lenovo proposed to make a retro ThinkPad, which is a one-off model that will take design cues from the classic IBM Lenovo ThinkPads from 5 to 10 years ago. Now what's interesting is that they're heavily taking input from their fan base. Besides sharing this on the blog, they even had surveys to see which design traits to include. Now could this mean that our diehard ThinkPad fans are finally getting their much respected classic ThinkPad back? We'll just have to see. And since our editor is also a diehard ThinkPad fan, to share our thoughts on which design traits to include on the new concept, we'll be reviewing the T60-T61 FrankenPad. The T60-T61 FrankenPad is the shell of the 15-inch T60 with the motherboard of the 14.1-inch T61 ThinkPad. The main reason for this project is to modernize the wonderful but aging 15-inch T60 with a generation newer motherboard from the T61. The key trait of this ThinkPad is its gorgeous 15-inch 4x3 aspect ratio 1600x1200 resolution LED lit IPS display. The 4x3 aspect ratio really stands out where most of our current day laptops are in the 16x9 aspect ratio, which is widescreen and great for movies but not exactly ideal for reading content on a web page or a document. The only other laptops I can think of that aren't in the 16x9 aspect ratio would be the 2015 Chromebook Pixel with its 3x2 and the Apple laptops with its 16x10. The 4x3 taller screen really allows for reading more content on Reddit or just seeing more lines of code on one page. For a screen from back in the day, this LED lit and IPS screen is gorgeous to look at. The viewing angles are more than decent and the brightness and matte finish really make it easy to read on outdoors or even in the sun. The bezel on these classic ThinkPads were interestingly super slim compared to many laptops today. So overall, the screen makes for more enjoyable usability and productivity. The next trait that definitely belongs on the classic ThinkPad is that classic IBM keyboard. Two aspects of this keyboard make it so lovable. The first is that it has a seven row close to full size keyboard, and it's one of the very reasons why professionals love this keyboard. It simulates the feeling of using a real desktop so when professionals take work on the go, their work won't be deterred by limitations of using a laptop. The keyboard has the six key insert, delete, home, and page up and page down buttons which come straight from a desktop sized keyboard. They have dedicated keys for volume, mute, and Wi-Fi switches. Now the second aspect of this lovable keyboard is the typing experience. The key travel and sounds make it seem like you're typing on a mechanical keyboard and really makes the keys a pleasure to type on. Plus, they can be tailored to three different typists as there are three major manufacturers that made this particular keyboard for the T60 and the T61 and they made them with different switches. The key actuation feel and the sound levels were all different. About differences, this keyboard is not backlit like today's LED keyboards. The classic ThinkPads had a small lamp at the top of the screen where webcams normally are and they shine a small LED light down towards the keyboard. People would debate it doesn't work as well as backlit keyboards, but hey, it's neat and unique and it's quite vintage and I like it. Now let's talk about that big red dot in the middle of the keyboard. You really either love using the ThinkPoint or hate it. With some practice, the nub can help you navigate your screen much quicker than using the trackpad and that can really improve workflow and efficiency because you won't have to move your hands off home row. Next, let's take a look at how serviceability is another key trait of classic ThinkPads. We love the 15-inch screen on the T60, but wanted a motherboard with a newer socket for a 64-bit CPU. So you see how the 14.1-inch T61 motherboard fits almost like a glove in the 15-inch T60 chassis? The fact that these ThinkPads are quite easy to work on is one of the reasons why this sort of FrankenPad is doable. And for people who are less ambitious for a whole board swap, they can switch out the RAM and the CPU for upgrades. Specs aren't the main point of our review today, though it's worth mentioning that these ThinkPads usually came with some of the best specs offered at the market at its time. 
In fact, this ThinkPad came with an Express Card slot, which is a pretty high bandwidth port, which allowed for PCIe devices such as USB 3.0 cards or even external GPUs to be used with the machine. The Ultra Bay was also modular, where you could use a DVD rewritable drive or replace it with an HDD using a caddy or even a battery. The battery here is a whopping 9 cell extended battery that's removable. It means you can take multiple batteries with you to keep the ThinkPad working all day, all night, if you really needed to. These very modular and serviceable classic ThinkPads were really tailored to fit any type of users from light readers to even heavy professional auto catters. Next, we see how these black box laptops were always referred to as tanks. They don't only kind of look like one, they pretty much function like one too. It's another key aspect of classic ThinkPads where they exude the aura of functional reform. They're engineered to be so durable that they can withstand water spills on the keyboard, drops, and even the weight of a car or a person in some videos you might see on YouTube. The magnesium chassis used underneath allows for it to withstand weight. The rubberized finish on the top lid is so that marks and scuffs don't show up as well. And the use of cheap plastic materials on the touching surfaces such as the keyboard bezel and palm rest are actually well thought out as they allow for cheap replacement when it's worn out. If worse comes to worse, replacement parts are quite easy to come by on eBay and on other third-party websites. There are some other little bits about this laptop worth mentioning that we won't go into detail with but instill the sense of no compromise and thoughtful engineering on these laptops. There's a latch to make sure that your lid doesn't come out when you drop it or hit it, and it cups right into the laptop base so that it prevents anything from seeping into the LCD panel and keyboard. Hinges are placed on the top of the laptop base rather than on the side so that there's more room for more ports on the back. Then there's the little indicator lights on both the top and the inside of the lid that show hard drive activity, wireless activity, and low battery. There was so much thought put into little things that all together make this classic ThinkPad feel premium. And it's likely why professionals and diehard fans were willing to shell out their banks to pick one of these up. They probably knew that these premium, indestructible, and instantly classic laptops were going to be their reliable partner for more than just two years. Now before we end here, we have to mention what you're probably thinking about, which is how well does this 8 year old computer perform? Well, it's decent and our editor currently uses it as his daily driver. It's great for like coding and web browsing and it gets work done. The integrated Intel graphics, however, give mediocre media consumption, so your 1080p videos will stutter. That's even worse than today's budget laptops, but if you want to enjoy a laptop for something besides the specs, this laptop might still be the perfect match for you today and this really ties into our conclusion. Before Apple was around, IBM embraced the idea of producing a no-compromise laptop that enhanced the user experience beyond hardware specs. They had a killer screen, a perfect keyboard made for enjoying long work hours, and they instilled a peace of mind that the laptop has been engineered to be durable in most situations. If anything did break or fail, the serviceability was easy. It's a fair opinion to say unless you prefer aesthetically pleasing designs, the classic ThinkPad could be or become your favorite. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for joining us on our very first video ever. Let us know how we did, whether you agree with what we said, and also whether you guys like this sort of content. See you again!